Welcome everyone, Dr. Mandel here. This little fat soluble pill that we call vitamin D can make big changes for the many systems throughout your body, particularly your immune system. If you haven't subscribed, please do so and hit that bell to get all future notifications for my upcoming videos to help you and your family. What's most important is that the majority of this world is deficient in vitamin D because of the fact that the majority of us will get our vitamin D from the sun. But the big problem is, is that we spend most of our time indoors. Now, even using sunscreen or being in areas with high pollution or living in big cities where buildings block sunlight and especially those who have a poor diet those who eat at fast food restaurants, who are always eating processed foods off the shelf and eating lots of sugars, which is inflammatory and has no nutritional value. So if you're not in the sunlight, it's always best to get your vitamin D from natural foods. But the foods like salmon, sardines, egg yolks, shrimp, as well as our fortified foods like milk, cereal, yogurt, and orange juice, Yes, that will help you, but unfortunately, we're not getting enough of these foods and not enough sunlight to do the job. So when it's cold and flu season, vitamin D is so important to keep your immune system working strong. There are vitamin D receptors and activating enzymes on the surfaces of all white blood cells. And the role that vitamin D plays in keeping the immune system healthy is very complex because the immune system has to be perfectly balanced. Low levels of vitamin D are associated with frequent infections. And the National Institute of Health warned that low vitamin D levels are associated with frequent colds and influenza. There is no magic pill to wipe out viruses. Antibiotics don't work on viruses, they work on bacteria. We must build our immune system by kicking in those white blood cells, those killer T cells, to get our system working at its greatest. Healthy vitamin D levels will help respiratory problems. Imagine all the millions of people out there worldwide who have asthma, emphysema, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD. Imagine that one little fat soluble vitamin Imagine the miracles it can do for you. Now, most of us will associate vitamin D with calcium. And that is important because vitamin D ensures calcium is absorbed. And vitamin K2, specifically as MK7, which is the most bioavailable form, helps direct it into the bones instead of the arteries. And we can't afford to have that extra calcium placking in our arteries or it will lead to cardiovascular problems. There are many different sources that determine of how much vitamin D you should be taking daily. It can start out at 400 IUs per day. I wouldn't start out under 1,000 per day. I take anywhere between 2,000 and 5,000 a day and my levels were still on the fairly low side. So it's best that you check with your physician and get your blood levels taken. And pertaining to vitamin K2, which is also fat soluble, the MK7 formulation starts at about 45 micrograms. And many believe you should take 90. Some believe 180. That is something you need to look into. So by all means, make sure you're getting enough vitamin D. This will help boost your immune system by stimulating those naturally occurring antimicrobial peptides. That's what protects the body by destroying invading microbes. And those antimicrobial peptides live in immune cells throughout your body, including those cells lining the upper and lower respiratory tract. There, they are able to directly fight off viruses and bacteria that cause common immune and respiratory infections like colds and flu. So if you are lacking vitamin D, you may be always sick and tired, always fatigued. You may notice that you're losing your hair. You're possibly having bone loss or been diagnosed with osteoporosis. 
you're having lots of muscle pain or your joints are always aching, and now you realize that your diet really is poor and you don't spend much time in the sun. Well, these are all reasons why you should start supplementing with vitamin D. And the most important thing is your immune system to keep it strong and healthy, to build those white blood cells, to build that army, to fight off those pathogens, those viruses that are trying to enter your system. So I'm going to remind you again, this small, simple, inexpensive, fat-soluble vitamin D supplement can make huge changes for your health to keep your immune system strong. Please share this with your friends and family. Leave your comments below and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.